Hello, creative friends. I'm Cheryl, and welcome to the Stamping Squad. I have a super cute card to share with you today, and it says, can you see this? A day without coffee, and on the inside is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. <laughs> So I don't know if that's what it's like at your house, but that is definitely my life. I have coffee every day. And um, so, like I said, I've made lots of cards with this. Recently, I was watching a video by my good friend uh, and fellow demonstrator, Julie Baum, and it inspired me to get this set out and create some more. And actually, I'm going to link um, up here in the corner her video so you can go and watch it too, because she makes a great card as well. Okay, let's see, what are we gonna use? Let me show, show you here. We are going to use the nothing, Nothing's Better Than stamp set. And today I'm using coffee, but it's such a great set. You can use cookies, cocktails, chocolate, and it has all the images and some really funny sayings. So this is a stamp set I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to be using some of the coordinating dies the one that says coffee, and also this little teacup. So we're going to use those dies. All right, let me move this out of the way for a minute and show you the pieces that you would need to make this card. First of all, a piece of thick white basic cardstock. This one is five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a half. It's kind of our standard card base. And then this one is a layer that we're gonna place on top of it. It's four inches by five and a quarter. Then another layer, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And one more layer, two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. So those are the pieces that we will need to make this card. So let me set that out of the way. And um, you will also need a little scrap of the cardstock of that first layer and a little scrap of white, basic white. So let's get stamping. All right, here's my basic white um, scrap. And I am going to use one of the new ink colors. This is Sweet Sorbet. I love the new ink colors. Uh, they are so much fun and they coordinate well together. I love it. All right, so I'm going to use the inside of the coffee cup. This is a two-step stamping, and on this particular one for me, it's easier if I do the inside first and then do the outline. Now, I know it's easier for some people to do it the opposite way, whatever works for you. And sometimes on different stamp sets, I'll switch that around. It just kind of depends on the stamp set, um, how my eyes work <laughs> or don't work and uh, what I can see. And uh, so I have to decide which part to do first and which part to do second. All right, so now I'm inking up with Early Espresso. And let me see, I've got to get my head right directly over this to be able to do this. And let me see if I can at least get close for you. Okay. Hold that in place. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go with it. Let me put this ink pad. Actually, I'm gonna leave this one out. I'm gonna leave the early espresso out for just a minute because I'm gonna bring back this small piece, two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and we are gonna do some stamping here. I am going to stamp the words a day without. So let me get that inked up. And I'm just going to put it in right here. There we go, a day without. And what else do I wanna put here? I'm also going to put some steam. It's going to be coming out of the coffee cup. I think this is such a cute detail that they have added to this set. And that's gonna go right about here. There we go. So far, so good. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, what else do we need here? Let's see, that's all the stamping for that. 
I want to stamp the inside with that funny sentiment. So let me fold this in half and I'm going to use my bone folder to get a really crisp fold. All right. And ah, now I need the stamp that says is like, I'm um, just kidding. I have no idea. I just think that's so funny. And uh, I have a lot of friends I could send this card to. So I chose just to stamp this kind of down the corner. Of course, you can stamp it anywhere you like. There we go. All right, that we will, how about if we just leave that here and just go ahead and, um, well, I'm gonna change my mind. Kind of all over the place today, aren't I? So I'm gonna bring this layer in because we do need to do some stamping on it. So what I need now is, I need this stamp back that is the outline drawing of the coffee cup. And I'm using my Simply Chamois to clean that off because uh, I had early espresso ink on it. And I am gonna close that before I put my fingers in it. Um, and so for this, this is also one of the new ink colors. It's Tahitian Tide. And I'm gonna do a tone on tone stamping here because I like a little bit of a design on this back layer, but I don't want it to be too bold. So I'm just going to stamp some of these outlines in the Tahitian Tide. And I'm going to stamp them along the edge here. And I'm gonna have them just um, kind of barely going off the edge. That just kind of makes your card look a little bit more design, a little bit more complete, um, if you can do that. It doesn't look quite as structured if you can make them kind of fall off the edge. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of working my way around here. Because I want these to just kind of peek out. And once we start putting our layers on, you'll see that it really looks like, it really looks like we have these all over the card, all over this piece of cardstock, but we don't, we don't need to do that because we're gonna put layers in the center that are gonna cover some of that up so we don't have to go to the trouble to do that. Let's turn this one this way. And I just keep turning my stamp. Um, some people, it's easier for them to turn the paper. So whichever works for you, either turning the stamp or turning the paper, that is what you would wanna do. Okay, there we go. That's all I'm gonna do with that. So let me set that stamp aside and close this up. Okay, and again, that was Tahitian Tide. I cannot decide which one of the end colors is my favorite. I do like the Tahitian Tide, but I also like the Parakeet Party. <laughs> so I am going to take some of these things and start layering them together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on our card base. And so to do that, I'm going to use the liquid glue it's my favorite adhesive, but of course you could use tape adhesive if you prefer. And let me get this on here, centered. And I'm gonna flip that over and rub it really good. You know, if you watch me, you'll see me do that. I don't like to rub my fingers on the face of my project, um, just in case there's something sticky or I have <laughs> some ink or something on my hands that I might get on my project. I do not want to do that. Okay. I'll go ahead and put this on. And here we go. Let's see if I can get this centered. Now I'll tell you, um, the 
coffee cups kind of being random in all different directions that kind of messes with my um <laughs> with my ability to see if i have this on straight so i'm just yep i'm good i just like to take my little ruler and measure along here and just make sure that i don't have it um cockeyed <laughs> so um next thing let's take this and um what i have done is I used this coffee dye and I took a, that scrap, took a scrap like this of the Tahitian Tide and ran it through my cut and emboss machine and got this. So I am going to take this and glue it right on here. And again, I am going to use my um, multi-purpose glue. And I'm gonna show you, I have a tool um, and at the moment, Stampin' Up! doesn't have these. They're called reverse tweezers, if you haven't seen them before. And if you do have them, you probably love them. But it's a nice way to hold something that's kind of delicate. And uh, so that way, it helps to make sure that I'm not gonna get glue all over my fingers. And I'm just like barely putting a tiny bit of glue, and then I'm just kind of spreading it with the tip, because we do not need very much here. So that's all, that's all I'm doing there. I don't want to get so much glue that it's just going to be, you know, seeping out all over my cardstock. So we're going really light here, really, really light. All right, and then I'm just going to turn this around and place this on here. There we go. That's Scoot it in there where I want it. A day without coffee. How cute. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. We're making progress. All right. Remember this coffee cup that I stamped? Well, before I started the video, I stamped another one. And I ran it through my stamp and emboss machine using the tea, tea cup or coffee cup die and here it is all right so just to save us a little bit of time i went ahead and did that this is going to go here i would like to put some dimensionals on the back so it pops up a little bit from the card and you know i'm going to use the sheet of dimensionals and i'm going to actually cut some of the pieces on the side so if you use these dimensionals I would encourage you to be sure and use everything that's on the sheet, not just the little pieces that are in the middle, but uh, all of it, because you can easily cut them and use them as well. All right, let me cut another little piece here for the bottom of my coffee cup and peel it off. There we go and put it on here great okay this one is hanging off a little bit so i am going to trim that just a tiny bit because we don't need that sticking out there we go okay now i'm just going to take the backing off and Put my coffee cup on here. Yay, that is so awesome. Okay, one more thing we need to do. Um, you'll remember on the example I showed you, there are these little stars, and that is one of the stamps in the set. So we are gonna use that with the sweet sorbet and put some little stars on here. Okay. And I always like to work in odd numbers when I do these. So for this card, I think I'm gonna use five. Here we got one, two, let's see, three, four, and 
Let's do this one right here, five. Okay, there, how cute. So this is finished now. Let me close this up so I don't have an accident. Put it out of the way. And now we just need to adhere, adhere this to the front of our card and it will be finished. I hope you're enjoying this. Now, as I said, and as you can see, I'm using coffee today, but you could make plenty of cute cards with the cookies or the cocktails or the chocolate. All of them make great cards. Okay, one more time. Let me just kind of turn that over and press it well. And there we go. That's it. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I hope you love it too. Let me move a few things out of the way here. And I want to show you some other cards that I made. This one was the one I showed you at the beginning. And so again, this is Tahitian Tide and Sweet Sorbet. Same colors here, just reversed. And then I also have, this is the new in colors. This is Parakeet Party and Orchid Oasis. So I use that for this one. Let me move these over a little bit so you can see them better. This one is Mint Macaron and Calypso Coral. This one is Flirty Flamingo and mm, Pool Party. That's what it was. <laughs> And then this last one is Orchid Oasis and the Parakeet Party. So it's the reverse of this card. So I did have some fun using these um, new in colors. And then I pulled out some of the my old favorites. I kind of like a retro look on some of these. And I think those colors work well for that kind of look. So there's some good examples for you. Um, I hope that you will come back and watch another video if you liked this one and that you would subscribe to my channel. So uh, also click the bell so it can notify you whenever I post something new and you can come back and visit me again. Just quickly, this is the host code for May 2020. If you go on my website and make a purchase, I would really appreciate it if you use that host code. If you do make a purchase and you buy products in the amount of $100 or more and use this host code, I would be very excited to send you a little gift. So um, keep that in mind as you're shopping. Um, down in the description, you're gonna see the list of things I used and there's a link where you can go and do your shopping if you'd like. All right, thank you again for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. Leave me a comment. I love to hear what you think and where you're watching from. All right, bye-bye.